Hello guys, Cosmic Hussies here with a, another full art trainer ranking and it, this one is so overdue which I've been waiting to do for the Fusion Strike set of Pokemon cards and F Fusion Flare something, don't know what the set calls it. There In this set there are seven full art trainers so I'll be ranking them from worst to best on how good they will are, of course. So, let's begin. At number seven, the worst card to play is Dancer. Now, Dancer is a draw card, which says, draw two cards. If you go second into your first turn, draw three more cards. So, in addition, you get, like, five cards in your hand. And... Basically, we have lots of other draw cards, like we have, like, Professor's Research, and we had Lily, and then Cynthia's Ambition, and we had, like, Cynthia, Judge, and any other draw support card, including the Snorlax. So that is why Dance is at number 7, because we got better d draw cards to play in the standard deck, so that's why it is at number 7. At number 4... Six, we have Schoolboy. Now, Schoolboy is like the same thing, which is the same thing. It says draw two cards. If your opponent has exactly one, three, or five prize cards remaining, draw two more cards. So you basically get four in total. So that is why Schoolboy is at number six. Uh, like I said, there are better ways to get more cards into your hand. And to get them back into your deck, of course. So, yeah, that's why they are still the cheapest. He's at number six. At number five, we have Schoolgirl. Now, Schoolgirl is like Dancer and Schoolboy, which says, say they draw two cards. If your opponent has exactly two, four, or six prize cards remaining, you draw two more cards. So, this is like... Like Schoolboy, he does like the odd numbers and she does like the even numbers. So it's basically an odd and even sort of thing. And like I said, you can still, there are still other ways to draw cards into play. Like starters, we've still got the Snorlax, the Professor's Research, uh, Lily, Cynthia's Ambition, and other ways of getting more cards into your hand. Of course, and we are losing Marnie, which is also going to be rotating out soon. And of course, we got like Melanie. And we had Welder, which lets you attach energy and draw three cards. And Cynthia and Caitlin. And other ways of getting more cards into your hand. So as I see, it, it's at number four. She's at number five. Number four, we have. We have Sydney. Now, Sydney is one of the Hoenn Elite Four, of course. It's, of course, we had Phoebe from Battlestar. So, this is now Sydney, which says, Your opponent reveals their hand. Just got up to two in, a com in any combination of Pokemon car tool cards and special energy cards and stadium cards from it. So, this is can like discard your opponent's items and. Stadiums and special energies as well, depending on which decks they're playing, of course. And of course, we had something similar like we had the Obstagoon, which lets you discard your opponent's hand until they have four. A delinquent was good, which lets you discard any stadium, let's discard any stadium cards of yours or opponents, and then let your opponent discard three. And of course, we had like the Lysander. Truncado lets you discard a lot of cards until it got banned. And there are other ways of getting rid of your opponent's stadiums, of course. And of course, you can use Roxanne, Roseanne's backup to get your stadium cards or energy cards into, and items back into your deck, of course. Same thing with a Pokemon. And that's why Sydney can be a little bit useful depending on how you play him. Into the top three now. At number three, we have Shauna. Now, Shauna, we did get a full art of her previously in the X and Y special box. And it says, shuffle your hand into your deck, then draw five cards. So, Shauna was a bit 
of a not good card to play, though she was a bit, she's a bit good depending on how you play her, and of course we got, we had like Sinia, which lets you shuffle your hand into your deck, then draw five cards, Kabu lets you shuffle your cards and then lets you draw four, and, or, or if you had no Pokemon, you get eight, Cynthia's Ambition does the same, only if your Pokemon were knocked out, then we had like Sightseer and Tate and Liza, uh, Bill's Maintenance as well, and TV Reporter, and of course Judge. So yeah, that's why there are other ways of you seeing better ways of using Judge rather than Shauna. So that's why she's at number three. In at number two, we have Chili, Silent and Cress, the Strides and Gym leaders of Strides and City. And of course, Shauna was the rival in X and Y. So, then, you know, so these are the Gym leaders in Black and White. And of course, Sa it's because it says, search your deck for up to three Fusion Stripe Pokemon, reveal them and put them into your hand, then shuffle your deck. Now, I did play this along with a Meadow Weather and Deoxys deck, a Fusion Strike deck to get them in me hand and I call Scott the rainbow version of on of them online. And of course we previously black in black and white we had a silent card though we didn't get him in full art either. So that's why these three are at number two. Though of course there are ways of getting Pokemon into your bench like Battle VIP Pass. We had like Gloria, Sonya Pokeball and Ultra Ball, Quick Ball, and many other Pokeballs are ways to get to get your Pokemon into your deck. Or of course like Turfield Stadium, which lets you search your deck for an evolution grass Pokemon. And that's why it is at number two. At number one, the best card from Fuse and Strike is Elisa Sparkle, the Nimbasa Gym Leader. And that's why Elisa was it's now gotten down cheap, though she is a bit good. She is very great to play if you're playing Fusion Strike Pokemon, if which people aren't playing anymore, because it says, choose up to two of your Fusion Strike Pokemon for each of those Pokemon. Search your deck for a Fusion Strike Energy card and attach it to that Pokemon. Then shuffle your deck. So there are better ways of accelerating energy. <coughs> Excuse me. Like, uh, there we had, like, Kiawe, which lets you search your deck for up to four Car, fire energy cards and attach them to your Pokemon, then shelves your deck, and then you say your then your turn ends. We have like Energy Lotto, Welder, Melanie again. And of course we got Lady, which is back in the game again. And there are other ways of getting accelerating to energy to your Pokemon, of course. Or special energy attaching to them. So that's why Elisa Sparkle is the number one card from Fuse and Strike, I believe. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed this Full Art Trainer ranking video. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subs comment and subscribe. And let me know in the comments down below which Full Art Trainer you liked from Fuse and Strike. And of course, you can follow me or check me out on Instagram. And stay tuned next time for more videos. Bye for now.